I think it's fair to say that Dark Souls 2, among its many themes, also has some gender themes. Nashantra and Vendrick, for example, represent a gendered duality, light and dark, want and ambition, desire and despair, and this pattern of duality repeats throughout the DLC, with the monarchs and children of dark who attach to them, and of course, Dark Souls itself revolves around that choice between the light of the first flame and the unknowable age of dark that threatens to come, dualities. The Throne Watcher and Defender 2 embody these things in their design. The Watcher is bright, clad in white, and slender and feminine in shape, while the Defender is large, bulky, and dark, with a huge masculine beard that also makes him look old, while the Watcher looks distinctly younger. And of course, one is a quick, agile fighter, and the other is a big, janky juggernaut. Interestingly, despite being opposites, their greatest strength is cooperation and harmony, reviving one another when downed, and you can only beat them by beating both of them at once, which is curious. I'm not sure if it necessarily means anything thematically, but given that they guard the final goal of the entire game, it's hard not to think so. Subscribe here for shorts to see my detailed analysis of this character over on my main channel.